nice to find quite a variety of stuff last time we came. A few products that we're still using, a few that we tried and want to try something else this time. So it was um, a chance to come and have a, have a look what's about. The show is very good, a lot bigger than last year. Uh, I feel it's a lot bigger than last year. Uh, and what I've seen up to now is really good, really good. Being on a farm shop, it's, we're, and the same will be true of delis, is that you tend to be quite isolated. And actually it's, it's nice to come, it's obviously in the centre of the country pretty much, so it's easily accessible. And we can literally meet everybody almost in like one day or two days. Not only is it huge, but it's huge and cleverly put together. So there's a massive diversity. So if you want the technology from the food X side, uh, you can have that. But if you want the small artists and producers, there's obviously uh, all the tiny people who hope and can somehow continue to make a living out of it all, bless them, uh, here at the Farm Shop and Deli Show. But also in between are the people who can help them make a success of their business and drive it on technologically uh, and with equipment. And, and it is within the three shows, uh, there is, it really does encompass all elements of the food and drink world. Meeting up with um, you know, Martin from Tom Chandley and looking at packaging for the bakery, looking at new products, um, getting more ideas. This section of the Farm Shop and Deli Show, then I'm seeing stuff that I get, I'm really excited by. Small producers, um, say somebody like Patchwork Pate, um, are here and they can be shoulder to shoulder with big international brands and I think that's a really great thing and of course that opens up to a whole new world of potential customers for them. Oh it's brilliant, I love it. Uh, a lot of, lot of companies, a lot of new companies as well and the people are open, ready for conversations, so, yeah, I love it. Well, I was staggered. It, it seems bigger than ever, but it does seem incredibly diverse, and I think that's the key. If I was coming here, the joy of it, you can wander around all three is really helpful. We love it. We love meeting all the different suppliers and seeing what everyone yes. else does and having a chat with people, and you always end up finding sort of someone, someone new, and then you get involved with them, and it's, it's lovely. It's been really friendly. You know, it's been lots to see and lots of doing people to, you know, very knowledgeable about their products, so... Yeah, and that's what we love, is, is the knowledge and the passion. People really get behind their products. I think if you can't decide whether to come or not, I think there's pretty much something for everyone. So even if you're just a consumer, there's some very exciting things. You'll see products that you, know, you, you won't see anywhere else, or things that are going to come into the marketplace. So you can then hunt them out. There was a company that actually distributes uh, products from Latvia, so it kind of caught my eye that companies from my country come here as well so it's kind of international not only for UK companies. You see very much trends that are happening and, and confirmation of things that I'm finding customers are asking for that that's happening. For example there's an awful lot of um, gluten-free stuff in the, in the baking section. It benefits a lot because we're keeping up with the times. Any business who come here will be benefited from it. If you're in the food and drink world even uh, as a, a broadcaster and presenter like me uh, you know I'm seeing lots of new stuff I'm immediately thinking great there are 20 products that I would like to cook with and taste on BBC Radio 2 or BBC Radio London uh, and share it with the world. The show benefit my business by me being able to actually talk to people and actually see products in person rather than just a picture um, or something on the internet. Seeing different equipment, seeing other other methods and other, you know, other things that people use uh, and other products are available to us, it's, it's going to help us develop. It's great that we can come and do both in one day rather than come back twice it's you know it's a good it's a good full day I think sometimes you'll tend to go into one but you don't think to go into the other so where it's all together you just wander around and you mingle into both shows which is really good totally unrelated to our industry but actually the merchandising ideas I thought we could transfer that into our environment etc so always need to be open to new ideas i like the mango girls i like what they're doing i think they've got a really good ethos oh yes the bundaberg <laughs> uh, i found the supplier of bundaberg and they sell all the different types of bundaberg so i was ecstatic about that so i've just bought a lot of bundaberg and so i'm looking for new products that basically sit outside of kind of sugar tax rather than saying right we're going to impose a tax on sugar so why don't we look for products that actually don't need it because they're, they're natural products and they've got some great products there was no added sugar into them which has been a really really exciting find for me whether my boss will let me i don't know but yeah we found we spent a few hundred thousand pound at the minute uh, we do actually make some quite big decisions um, especially with regard to uh, equipment three words if you're watching this come next year you'll really enjoy it innovative sociable and fun interesting uh, exciting and uh, enlightening vibrant informative fun.